what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i want to highlight a panther destruction video today so this is a black panther destruction video similar to a uh, pool 2 variation of this deck i uh, had shown off before but this version uh, includes deadpool uh, it would also include venom if i did have it if i had venom i would drop out wolverine so if you're watching this video and you have all these cards and you also have venom drop wolverine out and put him in there i think that would be a much better slot to fill the point of this deck is to boost the power of Deadpool and Black Panther. So we can do so by playing Forge, who will give the next card we play plus two power, Okoye, boosting all the power in our deck, or Nakia, boosting the left two cards in our hand by plus two. When we boost those uh, units, what can actually happen is they can start to double the power, which is insane. So Black Panther can extra uh, get extra power here, go up to six, go up to eight, etc., and he will double it on reveal, which is really strong. Deadpool will uh, double the power on destruction. So we actually want to boost him while he's on the board or while he's in our hand. And when we go to kill him, he will then get boosted again, which is super powerful. So Forge, Okoye, or Nakia could boost either of these, but also Nova could boost Deadpool because uh, Deadpool can be on the board when, that go uh, when he gets destroyed and get returned to hand. So that's a really good option. Uh, one of the other key pieces of this deck is Killmonger who's going to destroy all one cost cards. We want to destroy Deadpool as many times as possible and then play him on the last turn. That is our goal and have him be a one energy big powered unit like a six power or eight power or something like that. Having the ability to play this on turn six is huge because it essentially lets you swing one location with like an eight power unit for one energy and then save five energy to swing a different location. So that's kind of the premise of the deck. Um, but outside of that, we're kind of just running some generic destruction cards. Uh, you know, Deathlock to destroy the cards of this location. Carnage to destroy the cards of this location and gain plus two power. Both of those help with killing Deadpool himself, which is great. But also killing Bucky Barnes, who turns into, of course, the Winter Soldier. Killing Nova to trigger that. And then you also kind of, Wolverine, again, you'd want to kill Wolverine. But I do think this should be Venom if you have it. Um, and then once you destroy those cards, the other couple options you could destroy are just things like Forge, who only has one power, and Nakia, who has only one power. So they're all good to be destroyed with uh, Carnage to gain extra power, or you can keep them on the board if you have the board space. Um, Mr. Sinister would be interesting in this deck. I took him out because I was having a little bit of issues with board space, so he got dropped out, and I've really been enjoying Deadpool in this deck. Uh, adding power to him from either cards uh, in your hand or in your deck or Nova on the board makes him pretty crazy. I'm playing Chavez here, even though I just said we want to have Deadpool be our turn 6 drop. I'm playing Chavez in case we don't have this Deadpool really going and he didn't get that uh, high of an attack. Then we have Chavez to drop in at the end, but also because a destruction deck is kind of requiring a little bit of a combo. You, you do need to see things that want to get destroyed and things that are destroying. And if you fill your deck with too many cards, you know, adding an extra card instead of Chavez, essentially a 12 card deck instead of an 11 card deck, you'll see that combo less consistently. And that's not what we want to do. We want to see Deadpool. We want to see Black Panther most of our games. So keeping our deck thin helps. I would say Wolverine uh, and America Chavez are the first two cards I would change if I would make changes. Um, and if you're feeling like you want to add something different, I would suggest trying those two out. So I'm going to jump into some gameplay here with this deck and kind of show you how it works. All right, so we got Forge, Nova, Carnage, Deathlock. Pretty good starting hand. Pretty happy with that. He's got Iceman who hits Carnage, which is relatively annoying. All right, so we have Deadpool, which is pretty great. Uh, so we're actually going to play Forge on this middle location, and then we're going to try to play Deadpool next turn. A little annoying we don't have Carnage for two. That would have been a really good turn, playing Deadpool on the left and then that. But boosting Deadpool is already going to get him extra attack, which is really strong. So we drew, so we drew a Koye, which is great. So I'm going to play a Koye, and I'm going to play Deadpool on the left. Um, but I do need to do that in the opposite order. So order of operations is important. Forge is boosting the next card. So I need to play Deadpool first. So I'm going to do that. Deadpool is going to go on the left. He'll already be at three power, which is pretty great. And he'll get destroyed, get doubled to six. And when we actually play Carnage or Deathlock here, he's going to get destroyed again and get even more power, which is great. So we got Widow's Bite. So we got to play this or we're not going to draw a card. But we're okay with that because we have a good turn anyway here. I'm not too, too worried about it. Alright, so that location got ruined. 
So all the locations are just essentially blank right now, so that makes the game pretty simple. Um, I'm going to put the Widow's Bite here, and then I'm going to Carnage that whole location. So it's going to eat the Widow's Bite, give Carnage an extra two power, which is fun. Good little counter to Black Widow. So you'll see Nova hits first, boosting Deadpool to four power. He'll then get returned to my hand at eight power. Really good. It's a lot of power. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to snap on it. I'm going to play Deadpool on the right and then Deathlock on top of him. I think that's the best move here. That's going to, again, destroy Deadpool. He'll be at a 16 power, which is pretty great. So he can single-handedly win a location. So one energy. He's playing Iron Man. He's kind of doubling down this middle location, which I've already given up on. I'm trying to go for the left and right. You'll see we get Chavez, which isn't really that important. I think he's going to push for the right location. So I'm going to play Naki on the left and then the 16 power on the right. And hopefully that's enough to stop what he can do. This is a pretty good Deadpool game. Shows off. He can get pretty high. Um, really didn't use a whole lot. Really used Forge Nova to boost him once and then just destroyed him twice. And he's up to 16, which is pretty crazy. All right, so he went full left location, which kind of swung that. We'll see if it's enough power, though. Mm, looks like it's a tie on the left. He wins the middle by 7. I win the right by 11, so it looks like we're A-OK. -okay. So I'm glad I played Naki on the left just to make sure we can at least put up 11 power over there. You know, she's not the best turn to play, best, best unit to play at the end, but at least Okoye gave her the plus 1. Deadpool can easily swing this right location, even though Strong Guy got his buff. Deadpool just cleans that location up for one mana for 16 power. Super good. All right, so we got the Raft, and our hand is three two drops and a three drop. So, not great. We definitely want to see Deadpool or Nova as soon as we can, but we'll take what we can get for now. All right, so Naki is gone, and Kazar is gone. So that's a really good discard there. We'll take that all day. So I'm going to play a Koye on the left here. I'll put some pressure on this location. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill it first with how my hand is looking, but you never know. I could draw things. Koye is just good to get down as soon as possible. All right, so Forge gets revealed. He gets Iceman. So the next unit I'm playing is getting plus two power, so that's important to remember. Uh, and that's definitely going to be Deadpool. So that's great. But we do want to destroy Deadpool. So I'm going to put Deadpool in the middle because we want to be able to have the option to destroy him if we draw something that destroys. Um, he's not playing anything on turn three. That's pretty shocking. We go up to turn four. So turn four, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to play Bucky here. I want to really win this middle location, I think. And then I want to destroy everything on turn five with Deathlock. But that puts us at a weird spot. I think I'm just going to do this now. I'm going to destroy Deadpool now. He's going to go up to eight. That's pretty good. I'm going to snap because I think missing turn three is going to be pretty big for him. So I destroy Deadpool. He's going up to an eight power for one, which is pretty awesome. He's only playing Nightcrawler. That is not a whole lot. Killing Kazar was really, really big this game. Okay, so I can play most of these things. I can't play all of them. So that's a little unfortunate that Iceman hit Bucky Barnes just yet. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to play Deadpool on the right. Uh, actually, I could fill this left location first. Although he does reveal first. So I think he would get it. But I still think that puts uh, Carnage at a really strong spot. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put these two on the left. Deadpool's going to go up to a 12 power? Or sorry, 16 power for one again. It's pretty huge. Uh, looks like I got a six drop, a free six drop, which is cool. But uh, it's Destroyer, so it's a little awkward. I want to reveal Destroyer other cards. Definitely a fun card, but I um, don't think it's going to work out too great for me right now. All right, so we need to win these two other locations as best we can. Um, but we can actually, unless he has Blue Marvel or something to buff, this 16 ends up swinging that location by itself, which is pretty cool. So we, have, we definitely have a couple options. We also have the option essentially to just say, okay, screw that location, play Destroyer, and then 
uh, play Deadpool, which I think I'm actually going to try. So I'm going to play Bucky Barnes. I'm going to play the Destroyer, who's going to destroy my entire board, including Wolverine and Bucky. And then I'm going to play Deadpool on the right. I already snapped. I feel pretty good. The Destroyer is a crazy... I mean, this is Marvel Snap, so games go absolutely wild sometimes. So let's see if this works out. Obviously not part of the plan, but having the core of the deck still be functioning well is a good sign. So we got 16 power on the right. We got 22 power in the middle. Oh, he plays the, the leader, which copies uh, everything at that location, which is absolutely hilarious. So the leader just board wiped his entire board. Wolverine solo wins the raft on the left side. Winter Soldier is huge, winning this. <laughs> And then Zakar gets completely wiped out. Insane. Uh, what a Marvel Snap game, right? Uh, but essentially, still shows off the deck premise. Deadpool working. If we would have gotten Black Panther any of these games, it would have been just as good to have him on turn 5. And you can actually save him for turn 6 and play your big Deadpool and Tim. That's actually your best turn 6 play. So building up on turn 5 uh, and then to lead into a Deadpool and Black Panther play on turn 6 is the best. But any of these times, we did have America Chavez as a backup, and it let us get consistent draws. So that's the deck. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do have Venom, put Venom in the deck. Drop somebody. Drop Wolverine. Drop America Chavez. Throw Venom in there. The deck is extremely, extremely fun, so I highly suggest you trying it out. I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, leave a subscription on the channel to stay uh, up to date with any new content we're putting out, and leave a like and a comment, and we'll catch you next time. Keep snapping.